Remote Corrective Maintenance in the Industrial Environment. This lesson has been prepared by Mirko Lovisetto, trainer at NIC Polenico. Today, we are going to learn the training unit number two, alarm and false signaling parameters. Training unit two, learning outcomes. By the end of this lesson, you will learn how to configure the automatism that allows an alarm message to be sent following one or more parameters of the system that have gone out of threshold. Creating program blocks. We are in the TIA portal, in the project tree, we go to the program blocks section, to create a new program block. Configuring processes variables. Define the input variables that will monitor the process parameters. Define the threshold variables for the alarm parameters. Implementing alarm logic. Open the program block created earlier. Implement the logic to monitor the parameters and compare them to the threshold. Configure a condition to activate the alarm. Configuring alarm message sending. Define an output variable that represents the alarm. Configure the program block to send an alarm message. Configuring communication. Configure the PLC's communication settings. Testing the configuration. Download the program to the PLC. Simulate alarm conditions. Verify that the PLC sends the alarm message correctly. Monitoring and maintenance. Monitor the system to ensure that alarms are activated and messages are sent correctly. Make necessary changes to threshold or alarm logic. You put the name of the project, the name of the station, the unit name, the type of unit, the status of function. Then you have the panel of operators here at QU, run, stop, or lights. A new variable. Thank you for your attention. Please remember that this video has received the funding from the European Union Erasmus Plus Cooperation Partnership, the Vocational Education and Training Program. For more information, you can go to the website. Thank you again.